Welcome to Turtle Burger Crochet and Knitting Podcast. My name is Brittany. This is a YouTube channel all about, whoops, sorry about that. This is a YouTube channel all about crochet and knitting and yarn and all the fun accessories that come with that. And lately, any other crafty adventures I find myself in. Let's jump into some finished objects. I really don't have a whole lot today. It's only been about eight days since I filmed, but I'm still trying to find a good schedule. I've been trying to film this for about three days and this is just what it will be. <laughs> My first finished object is just a simple knitted ornament. Um, so this one has quite the story. First off, this yarn is Chicken Lady Fiber Arts in the color Rainbow Sherbert. In full disclosure, I have no idea how I ended up with it. I did a test um, for Lynn of Chicken Lady um, back in December, and I made our daughter a pair of socks. I made Lynn a sock and sent it to her and sent her all the remaining yarn. So I have no idea where this came from, but I had just the tiniest bit. I had this amount plus this amount, so I am so sorry, Lynn. I don't know how I got it, but the funny story is I was making this to fit around this bobble, which was um, from my friend Leslie, and I thought I found a pattern. Granted, she had her stuffed. I didn't think it mattered, so I kept trying it on the bobble, trying it on the bobble. Everything was fine, and then just all of a sudden, I couldn't get the bobble on it anymore, and so I thought, you know what? That's okay. I'm nearly done. I'm going to continue on and stuff it. And then this bobble, I just decided I would do with some yarn that um, Leslie sent me. So she sent me a bunch. And so that will be a special Leslie bobble. <laughs> um, I don't remember who this bobble pattern is from. Um, everything will be linked below though. And if I future editing Brittany remembers to put it in the screen on the bottom, I will do that. But I used a my Chowgu, um 40 inch cable, 2.75 millimeter needles, and I did Magic Loop. These are on, she, the pattern calls for DPN, but if you know how to Magic Loop, pretty much anything is um, adjustable to Magic Loop. So there is that. My second finished object, I know I'm talking kind of fast, but I want to be able to get this done. Like I said, I've tried it for three days. <laughs> but my second finished object is the a cookie jar dishcloth from the kitchen sink shop. Um, this was the August 2022 dishcloth of the month. I don't have my bag over here that I used but the yarn is Walmart Mainstays 100% cotton in the color Daylily Pink and it is so stretchy and so soft and I used a 3.75 millimeter needles for this and my last finished object you all have seen these before are my Saul Goodman socks this is a pattern from McKaylee of Breaking Yarn. Um, and I don't have this bag either. I didn't bring my bags over with me. But um, the main color I used is Yarnaceous Fibers. And this is in her Salta Fingering Sock Set. It is an 85 15 base superwash merino it has no colorway name and i used the um kind of brownish mini that came with it so i was super excited to be done with these socks i tested them for mckaylee and never got the second sock finished so and the neat thing about this pair of socks i'll get my hair out of the way is it does have a half linen stitch heel flap and gusset um, or no, not the heel. It has a half linen stitch heel flap and then a standard um, heel turn and, and gusset. So this was just a really, really nice pattern. I really like these socks. And now that I'm done with this, I can start to wear them. I haven't worn them yet. 
Moving into works in progress, my first one is Little Ladies Holly White Socks. I had to undo these. I was a lot further along and I tried them on her, but they were just barely fitting. And I thought she is not gonna get anywhere out of these. So what I did was undid it and um, I cast on a new stitch amount of 48 stitches and I will just continue with the holly white pattern from there. Now for her, because I don't really feel like doing, figuring out the um, heel flap and gusset and all that, I'm just gonna do a standard shadow wrap heel for her. It does tend to fit her well on other socks I've made her. I am using my Chowgu shorty, um, mini, the interchangeable set, shorties, minis or whatever. And it's a two and a half millimeter needle. The yarn I'm using is Huntington Valley Yarns in the color Red Purple. And also, I'm hoping any of this is focusing. I'm trying something new. Usually I do where the camera um, screen is like facing me, but now I'm doing it, you know, the proper way where I'm just looking at the um, camera lens. So hopefully this is turning out better. Um, Okay, and that was that. My next work in progress, it is, um, I will show my Spindrift shawl. I got a little bit done on that. Let's see where I was last time, where's my marker? So I got about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows done, and I am at approximately 35% of the way. And this is, again, the Spindrift Shawl by Helen Stewart. And the yarn I'm using is Monarch Yarn in the color Ocean Fate. No, I'm sorry. It's not. It's Monarch Yarn um, color Tropical Fade, I believe. And I'm using my Clover Takumi Interchangeable Set. It is a U.S. size 6, 4 millimeter and the progress keeper was sent to me from Barbara of Monarch Yarn when I made my first order. Um, okay, let's see, what else do I have? Um, I have my love note that is by 10 Can Knits. I need to um, change um, cable sizes, I think, because you can't tell anything about this. <laughs> I did get about five rows done since the last filming. So from where this stitch marker is and up, that's what I did. I am using my Clover Takumi Interchangeables. This is a US size eight, five millimeter, which is smaller than the called four needle size, but I just felt like I liked this fabric better. The yarn I'm using is Lion Brand Kobu in the color Lichen. And that is really all to say about that. Now my last work in progress, you all have not seen. So I am participating this summer in um, Chronicles of Yarnia in sock bingo. I needed, I need one more square and one more sock. You have to have five socks. Um, singles or two pairs in a single of and the last square I need in sock bingo is a sock that with a lace or eyelet type of detail and um, I was going to do a different pattern but I do not have the mental space to even begin to try to figure that one out it seems like it's a straightforward pattern but this was the second time I've tried it and I can't get it to work for some reason so I, what I did was I went to the um, sock bingo thread on Ravelry and kind of saw what other people were making and someone had this sock. This is the Wish You Were Here Shorty Sock by the Kitchen Sink Shop and when I saw that's who it was by I was like I have to make it because I make her dishcloths <laughs> every month so how fun to make one of her socks and this is a free pattern on Ravelry. Again, it is the Wish You Were Here sock. I am using pretty much as always my 40 inch um, Chowgu 
cables um, size US 1 2.25 millimeter needle and I'm using magic glue and the yarn I'm using is also Huntington Valley yarns in the color mauve now one thing I want to say about this is I'm making basically three different socks this one little ladies um, Holly white socks and then I'm making my husband a pair of socks and they're all in the Huntington Valley yarns and this one is by far the softest and most stretchy I don't know why because it's the same thing they're all Huntington Valley yarns they are all you know um, 75 superwash merino 25 nylon I don't know but this colorway is fantastic and plus it's just a really pretty color so so far I did my um, one by one um, cuff which I wish it was two by two because that's my favorite I don't like doing ribbing but I did 10 rounds of a one by one cuff and so far I've done three repeats of her lacy pattern the pattern calls for one more and I think I am going to do that and then um, continue it from I kind of glanced at the heel and it looks like it's a standard slip stitch heel so that should go really really quickly um, and that is actually all of my projects I didn't do any sewing this week or anything um, so yeah one it's some future knits that I've been thinking about um, more in particular with my love note and all the different um, shirts and tees and sweaters I want to make I've mentioned before that I have a white dress that I want to wear that with which I still think would be really pretty for the summer but I have it in my head I'm very short so long dresses don't suit me well but I'm finding myself I really want a long like maxi type dress and I'm wanting to knit one and as it turns out sorry Nordland came out with a um, um, a knit dress a little while ago that is so pretty and I want to make it but when I open um, I haven't bought it yet but when I was reading the description it's made with bulky yarn and I'm like that's not gonna be <laughs> I wouldn't think that would be very comfortable I don't know so I am trying to find a pattern that I can wear you know it, like this one is um, just kind of like spaghetti strap type like tank top type and it's all one piece and I wouldn't wear it like it by itself like that but I think it would be really nice to have different colors to put my knitted tees over a knitted dress I don't know that's what I have in my head I can't find a fingering weight version um, or really any other size that I or size yarn that I like so if you know a fingering weight version of a tank top dress that can be adjusted to like maxi length let me know in the comments okay that is all for this week's episode i hope you have a fabulous week don't forget that if you make dishcloths i currently have the dishcloth make along going on in the um ravelry thread everything is linked below and oh i do want to update in the last episode i had just come out with the um, crumpled griddle phone cro crocheted phone cozy um, and at the time it was a paid pattern but as I've been looking at different patterns for things I want to make this week I realize I find myself going a lot to free patterns because I appreciate those um, particularly something small like a phone cozy so now on all platforms it is a free pattern it is free if you want to keep going to my website and visiting it at turtleburgercrochet.com I don't know how to put a PDF on there yet um, additionally it is free on um, Ravelry and I will be figuring out how to use Lovecrafts which I've downloaded things from Lovecrafts before so I don't know if I already have an account with them um, and so that will be another option be on the lookout I will update that in the next episode on Etsy it is still a dollar ninety nine for that pattern but it will probably be removed um, 
just because I don't want to have it free on other platforms and then have Etsy people pay. Um, I know a lot of people don't like to use Ravelry, so it is, again, free on my blog, turtleburgercrochet.com, as well as I will be finding a way to put the free pattern on Lovecrafts. That is it. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.